all right welcome back welcome back guys to the occult gaming channel with me your host bell all right welcome back to max Payne. ps2 on ps4 and we did the tutorial last time had a lot of fun this time we're gonna go ahead and start the new game so let's go ahead and do it hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones and well in this game in particular that's a really important theme so go ahead and check it out Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Quick note, I was completely wrong about Max's voice on the instruction manual episode. I was still on the force back then, NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? You're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. I forgot this is the first thing you do. You actually play through this. Some like psychological horror what the type hell? stuff. A V with a needle. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall, a map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Yeah, this is very foreboding, but this, as just a game, this is so cool. Yeah, this game does some really cool psychological stuff, man. A pump action shotgun in the house. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to. Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello. This is before the uh, Patriot Act. So before, like, your phones were tapped indiscriminately. So this stuff made sense back then. Oh, 
I wonder what this says. The Hero Cops. Yeah, there's no aim button, so you can't really zoom in unless you get close to something. It's Max and his wife right there. It's probably her and her sister here. Looks like all women, or maybe maybe these are guys. They look kind of like women, but at the same time, I think these are. It might be one woman and two men. Can't really tell. And it looks like this is like Max and Alex right there. Max's baby. The flesh of fallen angels. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Forgot you actually play through that. No! That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. So, Sam Lake. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and Bibi were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Bibi here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. All right, so this, folks, is the calm before the storm. Before we initiate anything crazy, uh, what I want to say is that uh, I wanted to mention a couple things, actually. First off, our visual novel actor is the game's uh, writer, um, Sam Lake. And very ballsy choice to make that Max Payne. As a matter of fact, if you pause the game, it'll do a swivel around Sam, <laughs> or around Max to show us Sam's beautiful face there, which has always been like a funny face of constipation. Um, we've always made fun of it, me and my uh, good friend Chase from uh, middle school. 
and we used to always mimic this face back then um that's that's really interesting really interesting is the fact that the game starts you off it with that just horrible sequence of you coming home to like max's family being gruesomely murdered by junkies um i forgot all about that i because when i imagine starting this game up i always imagine just this subway here um even the tutorial part i always forget about that too that this game had a tutorial where you can just infinitely mow down enemies but a couple of things i got wrong um in the um instruction manual part is that uh max here is the same voice the the max that we know from max Payne 3 is the same voice actor as the one from max Payne 2 for some reason i thought the uh voice actor changed but i think what i was thinking of is the fact that the model actor changed from like sam lake to an actual i don't know if i don't know if it's like an actual actor or a model but whoever does the the character of max Payne in max Payne 2 is a different actor of course than sam lake a different uh, model for max than sam lake so i did get that wrong i think i got something else wrong too uh but that's the thing i can think of off the top of my head so let's hop into it i'm already super excited about things a seer also the nord the nordic um references are already um pretty frequent Okay, so that doesn't stop. I was wondering if somebody else was going to get off and, like, just murder us. Personnel only. We could see if, uh... If, if, yeah. Let's just track hop right quick. See what happens when we do that. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I am kind of curious as to what's down there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run down there they might try to show us a cinematic again but luckily we can skip those my Beretta stirred nervously under my coat but the train doors had already shut behind me and I was in for the ride next stop Roscoe Street Station so apologies guys I'm just I'm just kind of having a ball messing around. Um, the station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. I guess there's no reason to jump down there. It's just going to end up with me dying again. The gate was locked. Alex wouldn't have set up a meeting at a closed station. Something was off. I think we... Oh, we have no weapon. We're gonna come on that. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Okay, I got more ammo. Cool. The pills would ease the pain. Okay, let me make sure I got my controls right. I did do the tutorial, but okay. Slow mo and dive. I think honestly I would like to make those opposite, but wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too What the hell? Let's do it. I'm not shooting for some reason. There we go. Oh, he had a Desert Eagle already. They both had Desert Eagles. Wow. They're trying to take me out, man. I want the two Max or two Berettas. I can't do dual Berettas yet. I guess I got to pick another one up <laughs> first. Yeah. Hey. Wow, you guys already know. This is gonna be rough, man. I think I might need that auto uh 
all aim. Yo guys, yo guys, hey, we're getting around. You hear me? What is this a joke? Hey, anybody? Yo. Oh. Oh. Still, uh, kind of. Oh, I didn't mean to take the painkillers. Crazy that they give you the uh, Desert Eagle like right from the start. It is a really strong gun. Yeah, I'm gonna get wrecked in this game. I'm gonna get wrecked in this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks like you can take advantage of um, them having to aim at you though. Cause it's not like, like it's not just hit scan, so. The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. Did you hear something? Nah, take it easy. <laughs> what the? Oh! Oh! Ah! Out of here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I was looking for Alex. They had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Shoot. Okay. Trying to get a hold of the buttons here. A little bit of a hard time. Let's see what's this way. Yeah, I would really like to customize the buttons, honestly. Ooh, I saved this guy. I saved you, sir. Good. Save me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Um, I'm kind of scared of this guy's safety. Let's see. Uh, we low on that. We got plenty. There's no of... time to lose. We gotta get to the control room. Gotcha, sir. Is it this way? Oh, it's the other way. But what's this way actually? I'm just curious, sir. The power to the rail had been cut. I'd have to get it back on to get the train moving. So I'm actually curious on if it would have been a game over if this guy got shot. Home free. This oh, way. yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that part. <laughs> Let's see, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna handle this? Oh. Shit. Oh. see right there I didn't know if I should have been like hiding behind shit or what so bullet time 
bullet time isn't as plentiful as I remember. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to rely on shoot dodging again, cause like bullet time is like, it goes quick. Like you gotta come in here with a game plan if you're trying to focus on bullet time. Okay, we got painkillers here. There's at least one of those. Okay, what else we got? The train lit up like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Cool. I have to try to get some kills without bullet time. Yeah, I remember this part. Wasn't there like a door over here? Oh, we gotta like move this train, I think. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, the, the buttons are not how I would like them, honestly. After the 20 plus years of games I played after this game, I will honestly like X to be jump. So much for being subtle. Okay. Yeah, honestly, Max Payne 3 has the controls more like I would like them. Oh, he shot his own guy. I might have to turn off the, uh, the blur, the screen shake. I'm trying to figure out what I need to make this game optimal. Let's see. Let's turn off regular motion blur. Bullet time motion blur is okay. Let's turn off regular motion blur. Because I want to use less painkillers and less bullets to do things. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Let's do it. All right, and they saved your health state, too. So one cool thing is you can play it based on levels. So if you're screwed, then you can um, definitely start over if you want to do it that way. If they started you off in just like an impossible situation, you can definitely go back and change some things. So I'm gonna change my weapons up. I'm gonna go with the shoddy for a bit. As far as aiming. Nah, take it easy. Down here. Hey ya. So you don't get a lot of bullet time back for kills. So I gotta figure out what to do about that. You can't just sit in bullet time. You gotta, you gotta kind of switch to bullet time like when you're ready to make that kill shot. You can't sit in it like I'm doing. Yo. He did a backflip. That was cool, actually. He did like some. Honestly, that's how Mona Sachs fights. And 
it's not a typical third person shooter like we know nowadays because the camera is decidedly behind max so i can't just like switch sides like peek over my shoulder and max's head gets kind of in the way too okay how much bullet time did that restore not a lot just enough for like a peekaboo sort of thing So I gotta keep that in mind. All right, cause cause it was was rough for me is I'm trying to play it a little bit different than I used to play it before I would re rely on shoot dodging. Like Lapino, now that's spooky. Jack Lapino, yeah, spooky, but also it's like the failure count is rising. Ice. Ah! Right here. Hold on, I didn't want you to take me out of that like that. They got me good. Oh my, out of bullet time? I sure am. Jeez. I just suck. Oh my god, I suck so hard. I suck so bad. Why? Damn. Trying to figure out why I suck so bad. Okay, this is jump. Okay, I think that's where we have to go. I am curious about what else is down here. Okay, nothing really. Maybe I could lure them down here or something. Yeah, fighting like two or three guys in regular speed shouldn't be that hard, but I am struggling, man. <laughs> like, what is it? Why am I not? I wonder, can I change my reticle? Or, like, if that's the thing we can do. Doesn't look like it. Okay. What the hell was that? Loving the chapters. The Hold chapters. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Jeez, he got the uh, sawed off shotgun. Used to be one of my faves. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Hold that up. Let's use this thought off for a little bit. Sawed off is better when you got bullet time. Mm. Jeez, I'm so bad. Why am I so bad? Okay, I'm gonna get it, guys. I'm gonna eventually get it. are on their way. New York's mm. finest. They're gonna be here so Just stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. Got him down! Mm. I fucked that up royally. Oh. Got him. Okay, cool. That worked out actually. Okay, 
very sloppy, but it worked out in the end. Definitely gonna need some painkillers. And I'm gonna have to switch it up, cause you need accuracy. <laughs> I couldn't even kill a guy in front of me with that shotgun. do it yeah this is a struggle I'm not sure why I'm not sure what I'm not understanding about the combat all done here give me the detonator what are you talking about the detonator there we go that was way better and that guy sounded like Tony Soprano by the way sound like James Gandalf James Gandolfini the door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator Sorry about that car, guys. Oh, he knows I'm here. Okay, a little better. A little better. A little bit better. I think I'm understanding things a little bit more. So I think when I run up in that big room, I'm just going to beret it up. Just reload that. How many Beretta bullets do I have? Oh, I got a lot of Beretta bullets. Okay. So this room, shotgun. Next room, Beretta. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're going to be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. Hit there! Shit. You can't just chill in bullet time. You got to pick your spots. Do it. Max, do it. Mm. Struggling here. Oh, I thought I got him. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I think I'm getting a little bit better, but this is tough. This is super tough. It's, it is sound based too. Okay. That didn't kill him. Uh, I need to reload. Shit. Okay. That went surprisingly well. For as sloppy as it was, not bad. There might be one more guy down there, though, so I should be careful. The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay. I think we want to go in here with, like, full-ish health. With dual weapons, we can be as sloppy as we want. Oh, no, that's just these guys. Okay, so the rest of these guys down here are still here. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest they're gonna be Oh that was really bad. I don't think I killed him either. Jeez, I'm getting lit up. I'm not killing nobody. What am I not understanding about the targeting, man? Dude, how many people are in this room? <laughs> Man, hold on, I'm gonna look at all the people in this room. There's four people in this room. Oh man, I'm having a bad day. All done here. Give me the deck. Whack him! Mm. That's not what I meant to do. Get him. There we go. He's out. Where you at? Get out of here. All he is. Yeah, I knew he dropped something. All right. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I want the Berettas for that big room. This room. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. Definitely. Oh man. Try to walk it out. Oh, bad. I think they got multiple weapons too. Okay, let me just figure out what I'm doing wrong here. There we go. We got a... Okay, I kind of get it. I'm kind of understanding it. I'm kind of understanding things. So you can actually use like real, real tactics. Like you can bottle them into into the room. You can bottleneck them. I think there's one more guy up in here. Shit! Oh my god! Crazy. There might be even another guy in there. You can never, you can never rest in here. I need some painkillers though. Yeah, I need these. Big time. Okay. Holy shit. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Right. The bank okay, they, score laying the table. They got me invested now. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Yeah, now I like the uh, graphic novel parts, but um, some of these are placed a little bit awkward. Like they could have just had that be like just, uh, I mean, I'm glad they went the extra mile, but that could have just been like a, um, you know, like text, like in Resident Evil. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Oh, it's the um, dynamite? Or the C4? Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. And if you guys hear sirens in real life, there's actually sirens. I don't know if that's a storm warning or what. Or maybe it's just like a fire truck. Can't believe I survived all that crap. Still gotta be careful. Got rats down here. Yep. Why am I jumping? Oh shit. Yeah, if you guys wanna come down here. Be my fucking guest. 
Got grenades? Fuck. Come on, Max. Okay, nope. I tried to turn it off, but... See, okay, I'm gonna have to uh, turn off bullet time assist because uh, it turned on when I meant to turn it off. So I was thinking it was only for a uh, shoot dodge, but they're doing it for like everything. So we gotta turn that off. All right. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, I'm glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Holy oh, shit, where? Okay, guys, y'all wanna play like that? Oh, oh shit, I know I didn't kill this one. Shit. There's gonna be some painkillers in here. All right. I think we're gonna go shoddy for a little bit. Yeah, that was a dirty ambush. This game really does try to kill you. I don't want to do that. They got grenades? Damn. You fuckers got grenades. Oh, it's three of you. It's always like one. Nope. I forgot. Forgot I got to turn it off myself. Oh, God. Just fucking kill me. Yeah, I didn't know that other fucker was in there. Alright, cool. Mm. It's down here. Is this where Alex died or no? Nope. Yeah, I am super invested now. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Chapter 3 Playing it Boggart. Which is a European creature, I believe. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. 
It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plant. The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Yeah, I remember this part. This part slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Pain to the max. She. Got your ass. Oh shit. Missed you? How did I miss you? Bruh. You gotta be I'll precise here. Caught my eye. Bosses, everything all right? Bosses, Joey, Virgilio. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the notes margin. You're right now. So I'm from Detroit, and um, that's another one of those weird daily numbers I always tell you guys about. Uh, it's not a main one, but uh, I, that's another one I always see, the 313. I mean, of course, but I always see it in like video games too. Um, yeah, sorry for talking during that earlier cutscene. I was just excited because this part I remember in particular. Uh, I remember this part I died a lot when I was younger. The pain to the max line, I remember, because <laughs> I heard that line so much. Uh, let's continue. They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Uh oh. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. We're coming in for now. Yeah. Hey. Bro, how did I miss that? I'm just gonna fuck it. I got enough pain killers though. Okay. Dude. How the hell did I miss all that? I think we can do dual. Nope, we only use one Desert Eagle at a time. I believe in a second one you can use dual Desert Eagles. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but you know, still cool. All right, just checking things. Finny Gagniti. I think we can open this actually. Man, these guys got like security shutters and everything. Statue of Liberty. All right. Where'd those guys come from. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Cool. Get more painkillers. Uh, use one. Chief Bavora. Check my corners here. In his 
press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal, as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Alright. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, I would love to be able to um, aim down the sights, which wasn't created until uh, Call of Duty, right? That was like a Call of Duty thing, or, or maybe MDK. I forget which one of those pioneered the aim down the sights. Actually, let's check that washer right quick. I didn't check this. Nothing there. Okay, we could go out here, which I think we're supposed to. Yeah, I think we're supposed to go out there. Yeah. Which, uh, let's do it. You just run into it? Okay, fair enough. Alright, just making sure we ain't getting sniped at. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Payne's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Payne's gonna pay in spades. That does it. Cool. I jump first because R2, I prefer R2 as my shoot button. Oh, this could blow up. I could have blown them up. I could have blown them up. Let me, um, for science purposes, let's switch weapons. For, for scientific purposes, let's see if this works. Oh, this doesn't work. Okay. Both of these open. That doesn't. Without warning. So the one thing about this game is not confident enough to let its chapters breathe. That's just something I'm noticing. Um, because chapters are extremely short, short and uh plentiful. Well, not the chapters themselves, because this whole thing is chapter three, but the the sub chapters like each of these new screens is like a new sub chapter so it, it kind of breaks things down uh i guess based on loading screen but you didn't really have to do it like that all right i know there's gonna be people in here I love these like apartment buildings they have in these hey. shit. I could have got him before he went into his closet. That's interesting. That's cool more than anything. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Oh, my favorite show. I missed that. My lord. It's pretty good. There is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. What was that? From the very first moment we met, can't close it. Distant forest path, there has been sunlight and the autumn leaves blazing with the colors. Oh, I didn't know that I could do that. Oh no. <laughs> He's like, what? It's 
stuff got real. That doesn't blow up. The TV blows up. Alright, we'll use this for a little bit longer. If he had junkies could go off without a warning. I had die. to be careful. Positioning really matters in this game. <laughs> Who is that? Shit. Yeah, positioning supremely matters. I love that. Ooh, I just touched that. Oh, he must have shot it. <laughs> That's super cool, man. <laughs> Like what happens is like gunfights get so awkward when you're like close to people because like they literally have to you both have to adjust to hit the other one that's yeah, super cool it's like realistic okay that's where i came from okay got a lock here check your corners rookie It might get back. Probably some dudes over there too. Killer vending machine. You talking to me? <laughs> Tough guys. Dude, you aren't dead. I knew it. Come on in. What the? Man. Fair. Fair enough. I knew there was gonna be a bunch of guys. Uh, I'm gonna reload right quick. I just didn't know uh, they're gonna be so damn tanky. Either that or my targeting reticles like kind of jank, which it is for, for me anyway. Like it's, it's not modern. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn that down in my head. I'm gonna have to turn the audio down in general because you guys are picking up some of the game audio in my headphones. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. At least I think you guys are. We're doing pretty good on painkillers because I'm positioning myself well against a lot of these enemies. Third floor, can we just... Nope. Check my corners. Okay, that's a brick wall. There might be another room back there, though. That's an open room. Okay, third floor is bricked off. Okay. There's probably somebody over here. Doesn't look like it. I gotta be really careful. A few hundred bullets back. Flash. Flash. What? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna hurt you. 
I ain't gonna mess with you, sir. Yeah, I used to um, gun those guys down, but you know. What the suck? Fuck. There you go, sir. Come on in. Shit. You got me. Tactics, baby. Basic tactics work. Can use it in place of skill <laughs> in certain certain cases. I'm certainly lacking in the skill department. I found Muerte's room. Oh God! No way! Come on! Fine. Okay. Whack the sucker. Fuck you guys. Oh, I didn't mean to do all that. Shit. Wasted bullet time. Okay, cool. Oh. I got blasted. His damn shotgun. Painkillers, I can use those. Being pretty generous with those painkillers for now. Oh, sort of cool. Even though I already have one. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Alright, so we got a couple ways we could go. Super curious about what's over here. Huh. Okay. Got more painkillers. Okay, and this is uh, messed up. Okay, cool. This is where those guys were. Oh. Do I gotta like shoot it? Two or is it more? Hmm. Yep, there's another one. So you use it to get into position. You don't stay in like when you're shooting at him, you don't stay in bullet time. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. I think that's the optimal thing. We got the junkie there, I'm not gonna mess with him. Probably switch it up, I think. I'm not skilled enough to use the sawed off yet, but we can use the pump action. Hmm. In corner, nothing. Probably is a door there. 
The hooker had left her diary on the table. Yeah, we're gonna check it out next. Don't worry. Ooh. Oh wow. Candy Dawn, the read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Okay, and if you guys hear my neighbors, I do apologize, uh, but I think I hear them outside. Okay. Took a look at that. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. There's a car, guys. Uh, I don't want to keep reaching over for that mute button, so here we go. from the come over here fuck i pressed oh my god i didn't this is hilarious by the way i pre i swore i pressed uh r1 my fingers must have been on the wrong fucking button i don't know because i pressed r2 like right after like because i press r1 and i press r2 right after because because i'm like hold on did it just confused me because I must have pressed R2 twice. Oh my god. Oh man. Somebody's up here now. Ooh. I don't like being surrounded. I think I heard somebody coming up though. This one might work. Okay. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. So yeah, I'm gonna chill on the mute button, guys, cause uh, I definitely. The cops were doing a full scale siege next door. More the traffic they? than rush hour. I mean, bleeding bastards running back and forth, Ronnie and Jimbo to throw, and in the middle of all this, there we were. No I way. Give a damn. Just going with the flow. So what happened? Let's close my end up. We got the explosives, dumped the cargo, we were home free. Jeez. Yeah, they aren't moving. Let's see. Come on over, guys. Actually, you know what? Oh, I can't see. Actually, this is pretty bad. Hold on, you get a, you get trophies here. I didn't know we got trophies here. Okay, trick shot killed two enemies during one. Shoot dodge, four enemies with one grenade. 10 enemies during one use of bullet time. Snipe 10 without missing a shot. Any difficulty, hard boil, okay, cool. Finish quicker uh, than the part time of 56 minutes in New York minute mode. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of these trophies. 
Uh, okay, it just does that. Hmm. They're gonna talk about the storm. I remember this one. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Yeah, I always thought the snowstorm was like a cool, like a cool part of this game. Like it just adds to the mystique and personality per persona really of this game. Oh shit. You get so much bread of ammo that I can oh, shit. Nah, I shouldn't just be standing there like an idiot just tanking hits. Jump button. I gotta get used to that jump button because we're gonna be using it soon. Okay, that one's. Alright. Guess we can switch over to the shotgun. A little bit. And. Make our way downtown? No? If that's the case, where is the... First off, what's the point of this room? Unless I'm like supposed to shoot this or something. Hmm. Interesting. No. Okay. We got these things here, which might explode. We have this here. Uh, green is usually a go, so I'm thinking that might this might be where we have to go. No. Well, if that's the case, I'm legitimately confused. Oh, is there a lock on this door? No lock. It's just not opening. I feel like we've just encountered a glitch, but maybe I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, let's pull out that pipe. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Jeez. Alright, whatever. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. Rats. Just wanted to make sure nothing was behind me. Killed that guy. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bad Boy comic strip. Oh, I got the baseball bat. Remember there was a choke point coming up? I 
think it was a boss fight. And I think it was a boss fight that required the sniper rifle. Mm. Okay, that's that room. It's locked again? What the hell? It's a one way door. Alright, so they're gonna be up in here. <laughs> that took y'all a while to figure that out. Probably shouldn't give them the high ground. So, bad guys don't open doors? Is that it? We know they do when it's scripted, but jeez, might have to chuck this cocktail in there. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Yeah, got the way. Uh, that's cool. All right. That works out. Very sloppy. Again, my controls. Um, my understanding of the controls still hasn't uh, settled into my muscle memory, which is why I would prefer it to be. But uh, all things considered, not bad. So I think this is going to be the last one we do. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me off. Gentlemen, okay. let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green-eyed angels. Amen. Two doors. Shit. You gotta go for sure. You gotta go. Shit, dude. Get this guy. Get this guy. Get this guy. Get. Jesus. This is bad. This is goofy. He got me. I kind of want him to get me. Just take me out, guy. Take me out. I'm not wasting all that ammo and health. Oh, that was awkward. So if I'm just running in there. Trust me, you don't want to piss me off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Right, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah, you gotta use it strategically. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. There was a key on the table. Take it. Well, yeah, I should have ran in here with the uh, Berettas, but all tough. We're doing pretty good on painkillers, though. We'll say that. It was dirty money. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Hmm. Okay. It's the bar. Yeah, we're doing really good on painkillers. <laughs> really, really good. Okay. 
sloppy play aside. I think this is a boss fight though. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Sorry guys, uh, hopefully he, he doesn't kill her. What else? Some nice shit. Oh, that was foolish. Shit. Hmm. You too, lady? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Jesus, this guy tried to end me. Man, and I gotta head to work after this too. I really don't want to. I really don't want to go to work today. <laughs> uh, man. Okay, this will be the last one for sure. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Gotta make sure these buttons start working for me instead of against me. I wish uh, bullet time regenerated passively because this is uh, this is a little rough. It's a little bullet time stuff. board was still in use. Phone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, Cornelius, this makes me game started capitalist. was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. I had to mute again because uh, looking at the audio now, the it's picking up um, it's picking up my headphones. Not sure why it doesn't always do that. So I think you guys can even hear that. So I gotta move my microphone back a little bit. I oh, hope that isn't timed. get a winner you can't even really tell if it's uh what's on there we'll do two more I 
does the same thing every time. It's like. Oh, he's playing too. You know who you're dealing with? Huh? Do you? I was about to say, nobody else is in here? Oh, shit. Oh, man, I'm really bad at the aiming thing. Same thing. Yeah, there's never just one guard. There's always at least two of them. A fool. There's always room for painkillers. Shoddy. I remember this part. I remember this part kind of sucking for some reason. Why did I think this part sucked? Oh, I didn't mean to dive. It's a bad dive, too, into the corner. Okay. Yeah. Slow down. The I think you can shoot the guy into this and this like falls down. I could be wrong about that though. Memory is such a funny thing. I might just be remembering something from a movie. But uh, okay, that was cool. Yeah, I meant to say before, uh, Max Payne is like, when you really think about it, Max Payne is like video games Punisher. Even though we, I know Punisher has video games, but you know, Max's whole story is very similar to the Punisher. And um, until Punisher had like a legit 3D action uh, gun game, 3D shooter, um, this was like the closest thing you had to like a Punisher video game for like a long time. Because uh, you, you had like the Punisher beat him up, but you know, it was cartoony and campy. But this was like, this was the Punisher in video game form. Now, this is a boss fight. Or at least I thought it was. I thought that was a boss fight. Maybe this is a different area. Oh, I see. I have to uh, use this. To run through here. To maybe get here. Okay, so that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, hopefully, if a cutscene plays, we'll just watch that next time. And of course, I was on a mute. <laughs> so uh, I don't know uh, if I'm going to make you guys watch that twice, but we're definitely going to watch that cutscene on the next episode. Uh, so I do appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hopefully, you guys have had a great time today. Uh, I definitely um, it was a little rough starting off because the game's so different from like modern shooters. Um, but I'm getting there and I'm, I'm into it. I'm really into it. So I should be continuing pretty soon with this one. Um, I'm hoping to play later tonight, but I got um, I got some new guests in the house. So I don't know uh, how I'm going to I don't know how I'm going to do recordings in general. Uh, right now, I just got a free moment to uh, myself. So anyways, appreciate you guys for stopping by. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Max Payne in the comments below. Um, I definitely want to get into the uh, Nordic aspect of it, um, the mythology, because we're already seeing that with Valkyr and um, some other characters. Uh, for instance, I believe uh, Alfred Woden was already mentioned. I think he was already mentioned, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys soon. Take care till next time. Peace.